All right, we're here at the Skicraft factory where we're going to go talk to John Beer, the manager of Skicraft, and find out exactly how the second stage of Pimp Your Boat is going to go down. Let's check it out. All right, John, I'm sure there's a lot of people back at home who probably want to make their boat looking a lot better than it is at the moment. Now, how do we go about preparing the boat? Well, the first stage of preparation, obviously, is to uh, get the hull all prepared, which is a process of sanding. A lot of it done by hand and a lot of it done by machine work as well. Uh, this could be quite a, an involved task, depending on the size of the boat and the condition of the gel coat. Can you talk us through the process of what the boys were doing on the boat and how many you know, people it takes and how long does it take to actually get the boat for, ready for preparation for painting? Yeah, sure. Look, um, we had about three guys on the boat for about a day. That was mainly just preparing the hull. We'll find with the hull, with all the rounded shapes and the concaves, it's a good idea to use hand on most of this. On the flat areas, by all means, you can use your machines. However, if you use a machine on your, your rounded areas here, you run the risk of actually uh, distorting the shapes. Whereas by hand, you can mould it and you won't rub in too far. Right, and how long roughly is this process take? About a day, two days, three days, an hour? Took our guys about a day to do it, and those guys are experienced and had the right tools. So for someone doing it at home, you'd want to allow yourself a good week if you're doing it by yourself. Right. John, tell us about the spray process after preparation for the boat that you did for Wake Life. Well, all our boats are made of gel coat finish. However, in this instance, we chose to use a two-pack. A two-pack is a lot friendlier product to use, it'll spray flatter and it needs less um, finishing. However, it does give a very nice gloss just as these uh, gel coat finished boats. Right. Is this, a, is this something that people can do at home? Yes, people with a little bit of experience with guns. Um, uh, most importantly is all the, uh, the safety gear, breathing apparatus and so forth. It can be quite dangerous, all those chemicals used. Okay, John, now getting down to the graphic side of things, what would be the different graphics uh, between a ski boat and, say, a wakeboarding boat? Okay, what we're probably looking at there is the gel coat styles we're using. On a ski boat where you want the boat to look fairly slim and fast, you'll, you'll stop your colour above your chine level, which gives the whole boat a sleek look. If you're after a, a wakeboarding look, which is a lot fatter type, you bring that colour all the way down to the chine and it makes the boat look a lot heavier. Okay, now is that similar to what you're doing for the Wake Life boat? That's exactly what we've done with that Wake Life boat. Um, the colour had originally stopped about three inches up and we actually brought the colour right down and you'd notice now the boat has transformed, it looks very heavy. Right. All right, thanks again, John. You've guided us through all the steps that it takes to, uh, to get the boat looking absolutely fantastic. Hopefully the viewers at home have got a couple of tips out of it. And, you know, thanks again. You've done a marvellous job. My pleasure and look forward to seeing you again.